So right here, this is the first tree I cut for the challenge, and it's uh, the only maple. Um, I kind of cut it because it was badly overhanging the creek. Um, this is my third tree. I uh, left this curved section here. I hope I'm going to attempt to mill it up on the bandsaw into some boards and turn it into a new yoke. It's got a really nice curvature. So this little section I'm going to turn into a project, I hope. So this is my this is my fourth tree, um, and this is actually the biggest tree that I cut down uh, for the challenge. And there was a lot of firewood in this tree, but I didn't get all of it because I kept this section aside here, which was right at the butt, because it's nice and straight, and I thought that there would be some usable, interesting material for some projects there. And then I kept this big section, which was immediately above that section, because it had this really neat curve to it. And I'm hoping to turn that into a project as well. I'm gonna try and hew out a curved timber and then Trying to think about what I will actually use a hurt, uh, such a curved timber for, but I mean, that's one of those applications with hewing where you can create like kind of unique objects from unique trees um, versus like, you know, modular units of dimensional lumber. Okay, so here's a little grove of trees I cut. Um, this was the fifth tree. It was a little locust, um, and the, the main bulk of it is actually still over there by my yard, because I'm actually gonna turn it into some fence posts, because uh, it's black locust. Um, fifth tree, sixth tree, nice ash tree. I uh, dropped it with no eventfuls. Um, then I, had to cut down this little cherry uh, so that I could enable myself to swing the axe at this ash. And this ash is the only tree that I had in the challenge that hung up when I was felling. And it felled in this direction and hung up in the tops of uh, that little maple and kind of this slightly bigger maple. And uh, what I did, and you can kind of see the rut, is I, it bounced off the stump, and I uh, used a chunk of that cherry to, as a lever, and then levered it against its own stump to drag the butt this direction until it fell. Because it was already kind of at a 45 degree angle. Um, so it was just the tops sort of were dragging and I think I had too much of a hinge so it was falling a little slow um, and I that wouldn't it wouldn't have hung up if I had been able to fall it in this direction because I have kind of cleared this off but uh, the lean was such that I couldn't get it to go that way and that's one of those areas where using the saw and a felling wedge, you know, um, which Stephen is going to allow, I understand, would have been helpful. And uh, I, in general, uh, avoided trees like this the rest of the challenge so far. So this is nine, 10, 11. Um, and that stump is way too high. I need to come back and get that stump because I don't like leaving that high stump. Um, this is the one I filmed 
for my felling video and I don't know you get nervous when you're on the camera I guess um but other than that that's it that's that's all my trees 11 trees for a quarter wood and a couple of those trees were itty bitty things that didn't contribute much like the that uh little cherry tree so it's not as many trees as I thought and one of the things that uh, um, one of the things that I was concerned about um, when I was considering doing the challenge was I wouldn't be able to find any trees that I thought were safe to fall, which is totally not an issue.